Now, the small intestine is really interesting. And, you know, for one, it's really long. It's uh, five meters long. And there's a reason for that. that because at different lengths of the small intestine, we absorb different kinds of nutrients. Different kind of vitamins, different kind of minerals are absorbed at different sections or different portions of the small intestine. So, for example, people that, you know, patients that for some reason they lost a section, a portion of their small intestine, and they had a resection, you know, they cut a portion of it and they just replug it. Usually these kind of patients are going to experience some sort of uh, deficiency in, later in life. For example, a vitamin K, vitamin B12, because they won't be able to absorb those nutrients anymore. And in these cases, what we see is that patients are need to, you know, need, need to have some vitamin K shot or like vitamin B12 or supplementation and stuff like that. And also another interesting thing about the small intestine is that if you take a portion of the small intestine and look at the microscope, you'll see that the walls of the small intestine are covered with this microscopic villi, it's called. But I like to think of it like little arms, you know, that move around and they brush the kind, you know, the food as it passes. And what they do is they, they, they grab the nutrients and the vitamins and the minerals. You know, we're talking about the microscopic level and they suck them into the bloodstream. And once they're in the bloodstream, you know, they can go anywhere they're needed. So it's really cool. And for example, celiac patients, maybe you've heard of them. Uh, these people that lack the enzyme to digest gluten, which is a protein in wheat. So basically, if they eat wheat, they're going to experience uh, some uh, gastric problems, some difficulties. And what happens, for example, in the small intestine is that gluten causes them, the, the villi, you know, this arms I was talking about, to, you know, to fall, fall over, to stop working at least for a while and then this causes like a stomach upset and pain and bloating and constipation even or something like that and if they eat gluten on a regular basis you know this this villi are gonna get atrophiated so at the end it won't matter if they have like the most nutritious diet in the world they just won't be able to absorb these nutrients and that's why this villi is really important for them to, to work properly and also in the small intestine and also in the large intestine, we have the, the flora, the gut flora, the good bacteria, as uh, you know, we like to call it. And this good bacteria is, is only good because it's here and it's, it's controlled by your immune system. This good bacteria anywhere else in the body will be causing problems. You know, it will forget what side it was and it's going to cause problems. So your body allows it to live here because we have a symbiotic relationship with it which means, you know, this bacteria is able to synthesize some vitamins, for example, that we otherwise we couldn't. And these vitamins are, you know, needed for us to be alive. So, so this bacteria eats a little bit of the chyme and produces uh, vitamins. So we have like a win-win re relationship with them. All right. So it's important for us to eat, you know, good yogurts, uh, fermented food, soy, tofu, you know, the really good quality sauerkraut, for example, as really good sources of, of good bacteria. And then finally, you know, after passing through the three stages of the small intestine, you know, the jejunum, the ileum, and the secum, the chyme goes into the, the large intestine. And the large intestine is also divided in three parts. The ascending column, the transverse column, and the, the uh, descending column. And at the end, there's like this S-shaped part of it, which is called the sigmoid column. And then at the end, we have the rectum and the anus. So the main function of the large intestine is pretty much reabsorb water. Water is really important for, for many things, but in, in the digestion it's really important because it's just going to help carry all the chyme and all the nutrients and speed up and move, move around all the food and everything. But we need that water, so the body reabsorb it at the end. So for example, people when, when have diarrhea, the food passes so quickly through you know, all the digestive system that the body doesn't have time to absorb the water. Well, let alone you know the nutrients and it could be really dangerous especially for little kids because it can lead to quickly to dehydration and the loss of electrolytes and stuff like that so that's why uh, you know it's important that the large intestine works properly so it's going to absorb the water and it's going to absorb electrolytes and some vitamins as well and you know the food ever since it left you know the the conscious part of the digestion, you know, the tongue, which was the, the last part of the conscious digestion. Uh, the, mo the movement of the food is being done by peristalsis. Peristalsis is pretty much a, a wave-like, you know, movements. This, the enteric muscle is just pushing the food around, like, you know, like imagine you have a hose, and you're just kind of passing, you know, like paste in front of it, like, 
inside it, you know, something like that. It doesn't move by gravity alone. You know, the, the, there's muscle, there's enteric muscle in the whole of the digestive system, which is very important as well. So finally, the food comes out in the other end. So how long should this process last? Well, usually, in an average, it lasts 12 to 16 hours. So this rises to the question, how many times a day do I have to go poo? Basically, if you eat every day, which most people do, uh, you should go every day because as I say, it lasts 12 to 16 hours. So if, if it lasts longer than that, the food is just going to accumulate in there. It's not going to be food anymore, remember? All the water is being absorbed, all the electrolytes, all the nutrients the body could, you know, uh, were absorbed. And now it's just poo, you know, feces, just accumulating, uh, fermenting, you know, producing gas bloating, you know, problems, you know, so that's why it's important for us to be passing bowels every day. If you're not passing bowels every day, you, you need to do something to, you know, to help your, your digestion. For, for starters, you know, chew properly, uh, eat foods with beneficial bacteria, uh, you know, eat fiber, you know, fruits, vegetables, all that, the water in the morning especially is really important to prevent constipation, you know, like you don't want stuff, you sit in there, you know, it's just putrid matter inside your body at all. As soon as the body finishes extracting all the good things, let it out, let it out, you don't need it in your body, all right? Well, um, one thing that I wanted to mention at the end is that uh, alcohol, for example, uh, water is absorbed through all the digestive systems, starting with the stomach, but also alcohol. Alcohol doesn't have to go through all your digestive system to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Um, alcohol can be absorbed in the stomach. Uh, alcohol can go through the walls of the stomach, right into the bloodstream. That's why people, you know, especially if they don't drink often or, or they're just not used to alcohol, they just have a glass of wine, for example, and they will start feeling a little bit of lightheadedness. This is because the alcohol just reached the stomach and then went through the walls of the stomach into the blood and then once it reaches the blood, as I say, the blood goes everywhere, including the brain. And when alcohol reaches the brain, well, basically what it does is causes it to malfunction. For one, it starts killing neurons, you know, the brain cells are start to die in presence of alcohol. And basically the brain cannot function properly, you, you can't stand still, you can't do the number four, for example, you, 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 you can't see straight, people can't like talk properly, and stuff like that. So basically, in medical terms, being drunk is having a brain malfunction, you know, it's nothing to brag about, it's nothing cool. You know, another important thing about the digestive system is that it's, it is very vascular, which means that there's a lot of blood needed for, for it to work properly. When you eat, usually what happens, you feel a little bit sleepy, all right, and people tell you don't go exercise after you have a big meal, and there's a reason for that. I don't know if you can see in this little drawing right here, but you can see uh, all the branches of the aorta that goes into the, into the large intestine. And it's because the, the digestive system needs a lot of blood, you know, to absorb the nutrients into it, you know, to move around stuff. You need nutrients to absorb nutrients, right? So the nutrients come in the blood and then they take more nutrients and stuff like that. So it's really interesting. But that's why you have to take it easy after you have a meal. Just, you know, eat, eat, eat by, you know, sitting down, relaxing, you know, try to rest and digest, you know. Uh, don't go swimming after that because that's that's why you get the cramps. The cramps occur when the muscle doesn't get enough blood. And when you're exercising, you pretty much the muscle is what's going to be drawing all the blood. So either you do the exercise properly and you not digest, or you digest and you do not exercise properly, right? So you have to do everything in a timely fashion. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to let it there. It probably was too much information. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, if you want to ask something I didn't address in this video, let me know. And I'm, I'm here for you. I just redid my website. There's a blogging section. I'm going to put some pictures and stuff like that. So check it out. It's lifematters.ws. Lifematters and I hope to see you again soon. Take, it, take care, chew properly, and drink water. See you later. This is Life Matters. My name is Carlos Salazar. Have a good day. Bye-bye.